Well, Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Today we're going to do an unboxing. The folks at Round 2 have repopped a pretty cool car. Uh, this is Grumpy's Vega. This is a 1972 Vega Pro Stock car driven by the great Bill Grumpy Jenkins. Man, I don't know about you, but I'm old enough to remember back in the day going to the drag strip in the 70s and 80s and, man, seeing all these great pro stock cars and one of the big ones was Grumpy Jenkins. He had a variety of different cars. I think they were all Chevys as far as I remember, but man, what a great driver, what a cool car. And uh, I'm just going to unbox it today. I'm still working on the AMX and I'll have a report coming up about the Rocket, but here's what we got. We got a, uh, a chrome set here that's that's pretty good. Looks like it has a blower in there. The engine doesn't have a blower, so I'm not sure exactly what that's all about. However, uh, maybe they're giving me more than one option here. I don't know. We'll have a look at that as we go. And of course, in here you can also see the wheels. Uh, looks like we got some thin thin tires and some fat tires because that's what drag cars have, right? A uh, few odds and ends on the chrome, but there's not a lot of chrome. And frankly, I'm okay with that. For some reason, there's one mag wheel in here, which I, I don't understand. But that's okay. Uh, we've, got, we've got some really nice fat slicks here. And if you look, you can see they're already pre-lettered. I love that. Uh, I can letter tires if I have to, but I much prefer, prefer them this way. They get a lot better when they're already done. And also, it looks like we've got a metal axle in here, which looks like we're going to have some... Uh, some metal axle action, which is always good to me because it makes it a little bit easier to move things around. Uh, the glass, there's a, a solid front and back window, and then we also have some side windows. This also has some headlights in here. I, I'm not sure about that because normally I thought these cars had decals, but this might have actually been a real, a real car that they build it on. Here we have the Vega body. It's like a Vega body and a, a one-piece chassis. It's got a, also the interior pan is in here. Um, there's your, there's your, uh, your chassis. And here we have the interior pan. Looks like a pretty straight-up Vega kit at this point. But that's okay. We can, we can make that work. And uh, let's see. Also in here, looks like we've got the parts for the roll cage. We've got the hood, and there's, a, there's actually two seats in here. Of course, we're only going to need one if we build this as a drag car, which I will, because I love drag cars. I especially love the old Pro Stock kits. Uh, and then here we have some more general, general engine parts and things. Oh, there's a second hood in here. I think this is actually the hood. Look, it's got the, uh, the scoop built right into it. I think that's the one we're going to want. But... Obviously, it looks like they're giving us, even though it's it's labeled as Grumpy Jenkins' car, we're probably going to have more uh, more options. But again, I'll be building it the Grumpy Jenkins way. All right, let's have a look at these decals. Normally, I don't unbag these. I was kind of hoping they'd be facing in such a way that I wouldn't have to bag unbag them because it's going to be a little while till I get to build on this. I really want to finish my AMX. I'm having a little trouble with the paint on that one, but we'll get to that in a in a future episode, hopefully I'll have that all worked out. But for now, let's just have a look at these decals. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got the stripage that goes right around the windows on the side of the car. I'm really happy about that because I was hoping I didn't have to paint that. But look at all those different sponsor decals and everything. This is going to be fun. Um, all right. It doesn't look like it's a really tough kit to build. That's okay. Uh, basically what I want at the end of this is a really nice looking kit, so I'm good. All right, so looks like we've got the, uh, the tires here, the wheels, and the wheel assembly on the instructions. And then also we're going to have the high-rise manifold and a couple of, uh, we used to call those a 2-4 tunnel ram. And we've got carburetors to put on. And All right, let's open these instructions up a little bit more. You ever notice when I'm doing this on, on video, I always manage to have to fumble with things and I can't ever quite get it right? Okay, here we go. All right, so then we've got engine assembly. And looks like the, uh, 
The drivetrain assembly is pretty basic, but again, that's okay. I uh, Like I say, when this is done, if it looks like Grumpy's car, that's good enough for me. All right, and we've got the uh, the body pan assembly there, which is is pretty basic, the interior pan, I should say. And then over here, um, basic body assembly, kind of all the stuff we already already know is coming. But anyway, looks like a, a somewhat basic kit. Again, I'm okay with that. I just want to have a really good, successful build. And so I'm looking forward to putting this together. This is, again, the Grumpy's Vega 1972 Vega. Vega, excuse me, from MPC, and it's repopped by our folks, our friends over at Round 2. So, anyway, looking really forward to building this thing, and I will give you some step-by-step -step as we go, all right? Take care, guys. Have a great day. Looks like a great kit. If you haven't picked it up yet, pick it up, because this is a classic. Um, great driver from the 70s and 80s, and, oh, man, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, you guys take care. Remember, model building is supposed to be fun. So have fun.